Howdy folks and welcome back to a game that it's well been a while since I took a look at. This is Fractured Space from Edge Case Games. I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who are aware of what Fractured Space is, but for those of you who aren't, think of League of Legends in space with dirty great big capital ships. And the space combat is more like the new Battlestar Galactica TV series. Well, I say new, it's been finished for a couple of years. The reimagined Battlestar Galactica TV series. Uh, where you're in command of massive capital ships lumbering through space sectors, unleashing death and destruction upon your enemies. Although, not all the ships are huge. But we're not talking Star Wars-style starfighter combat here. At the very least, you're going to be taking control of a frigate-sized support or attack ship. Of course, if you do want to take control of a dirty, great, big, massive, two-kilometre-long battle wagon, then you can do exactly that. In fact, probably my favourite ship in the game is one of the original ships that shipped. Ships that shipped? Oh boy, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> one of the original ships that was in the game on release. And that ship is the USR Colossus. And I think the reason I like it so much is because it's relatively easy to play. Um, I'm old and crap and my reflexes aren't what they used to be. And while I have fun zipping around in light frigates and stealth ships, I'm not really very good at it. The Colossus, however, sits right in the middle of my comfort zone. It can take a beating. It is a tank, after all. Two kilometres long, it has a metric arse ton of health, and lots and lots and lots of armour. But it is kind of slow. In fact, it is very slow, and it is horribly unmanoeuvrable. I don't really mind that, however, because just like sailing a battleship in World of Warships, it just means that you've got more time to think about what it is that you're going to be doing. The downside of that is that just like sailing a battleship in World of Warships, if you make the wrong decision, you've got lots and lots of time to regret it. <laughs> but the Colossus can at least take a beating. It's very, very good at absorbing damage. Its weapons are a bit of a mixed bag, however. It only really has one long-range weapon system, and that's its missiles, and they're on a sort of medium-length cooldown, so you can't really spam long-range weapons fire in this thing. The Colossus's main weapon system are its massed batteries of flak guns, and while they don't have a huge range, anything that gets inside the envelope of this ship's flak batteries is going to start hurting. Well, okay, Jingles, but... The Colossus is very slow, so surely all somebody has to do, once you start targeting them with these flak cannon, is drive out of range. Well, yes. But the Colossus has two tools at its disposal to keep its enemy inside the range of its flak batteries. One of those is an engine shutdown ability. Now, it takes some skill to use properly. It has to be aimed fairly carefully, and it is on a long cooldown. But if the Colossus manages to disable your engines while you're in range of its flak batteries, you're going to have problems. And the Colossus' second ability to keep its target within the range of those flak guns is a short duration engine boost, which, when activated, allows the Colossus to move very, very quickly for a very short period of time. Of course, this engine boost can also be used to get you out of the shit if you've made a poor decision and you've found yourself suddenly outnumbered, outflanked, and far away from support. So after a couple of months away from Fractured Space, because I just have too many different games to play at the moment, I thought I'd jump back in uh, on my new PC, reinstall it, have a go, see what's changed, and jump into a battle at the helm of the ever-reliable USR Colossus. The match begins, and I'm waiting to see where most of the team are jumping to, and some have headed to Alpha, but most have headed to Beta, so I'm going to join them in Beta, because the Colossus is a ship that works best with support. It's there for taking damage, it's not really that good at dishing damage out. And it definitely works best when it has support ships nearby to keep its health topped up, or attack ships nearby that can dish the damage out while the Colossus is taking everybody's attention. So we've got an enemy ship up ahead, I've locked on. I'm going to launch my missiles. Now, you'll note that the missiles fired from the port side of the ship all impacted on an asteroid to the port side of the ship. So I've basically lost half of the missile salvo there. Now, one of the upgrades that you, well, I hesitate to use the word upgrade, but it's the term that everybody understands. They're more side grades. One of the side grades that you can get 
for the Colossus is a dorsal missile battery, which puts all of the missile launchers on the top of the ship. So if I'd fitted that, it doesn't make the missiles any better, but under circumstances where you've got obstacles to port and starboard, and you're using the standard missile launcher battery, you're going to lose some of those missiles to impact on whatever those obstacles are. Similarly, I've changed, I don't want to use the word upgrade, I've changed my basic flak cannons for photonic charges. Now the average damage per minute is exactly the same. Again, it's, it's not any better or any worse than the stock loadout of the ship. But the photonic charges just work differently. You can see that they don't fire as quickly, but the area of effect impact from one of these photonic charges going off is more than a single burst from the flak cannons. So the damage per minute, exactly the same, they just work differently. So we've cleared out the enemy and now we can start capturing this station. And that's precisely the moment when an enemy Colossus jumps in. Now I've got support with me, he does not. So watch how long this guy lasts without support. Now I've just hit him with the engine shutdown so he's not going anywhere fast. And we're obviously both inside each other's flak cannon range. So I'm going to activate my engine boost to get around the other side of him. Now. These flat cannons are powerful weapons at close range, and we're both still inside each other's ranges as I launch my missiles at him, but they take time to turn around and point at another target. So now he has to make a choice, or well, he would have had to make a choice if he hadn't just been blown away <laughs> by our concentrated firepower um, as I switch my fire to the second enemy who's just arrived. But he had me locked on, the enemy Colossus, and if he wanted to continue doing damage to me, because I was the closest ship and his flak batteries were going to do more damage to me, he would have had to take the time to swing the guns around and reacquire his target solution. And while he's doing that, he's not doing any damage to anybody else, and the other two ships who were with me, well, they just annihilated him. And it turned out it was actually a reasonably fair fight. It wasn't just the Colossus. There were two other enemy ships that jumped in here as well, but they didn't really coordinate their attack. They arrived one at a time and allowed us to concentrate our firepower on them. And I, well, thanks to the support ship who's with me, haven't lost any health. So now we're finally in the position of being able to capture this base. And Gamma Sector is about to come online, which is the central sector right there in the middle of the map. Whoever controls Gamma gets a combat buff. But we've just unlocked, thanks to controlling bases and taking down cargo tugs, we've just unlocked upgrades for our ships, either attack, defense, or utility. And I do have a bit of a jingles moment here. <laughs> I could have actually claimed that upgrade at the station in Beta. Um, but it has been a while since I've played and I was under the impression that I had to go back to my home station. So I've jumped back to my home station. Uh, I'm going to pick an attack upgrade and I'm now going to jump straight to Gamma and join the attack over here, which does seem to be going quite well without me. There are only two enemy ships left alive. The other three are busy respawning in hyperspace. In fact, yeah, heavily outnumbered. but this guy stands no chance. So it looks like we're going to take control of Gamma. And if you look at the map and see the various different blue stations, we've got much more resources coming in than the enemy team. And a key point to note is that we control the gateway station at the northern end of the beta sector, indicated here by the red arrow. What that means is that when we get to that station, we can jump into the enemy base. And that's how you win when you're playing Fractured Space. You take down the enemy base, and the enemy team are just as aware of that as we are, so they're rushing ships to the defense of that gateway station, trying to shut down our access to their home base. And I've actually arrived right on top of at least four enemy ships. These two guys are both on top of each other, so they're both getting hit by my photonic charges. Second enemy ship has just ducked underneath me, and the Colossus can do a lot of ramming damage. It's a huge ship, so I fired up my dorsal thrusters and attempted to drop down onto him from above, but he got obliterated by the gladiator with me. You can just see over there, unloading his massed cannon batteries into a third enemy ship. And there's another two. They're all rushing to the defense of this station because it is a key component in winning the game. This is the gateway station that controls access to their home base. If they don't take this off us, they're going to lose and they're going to lose quickly. But, well, there's a support ship with us. Myself and the Gladiator have lost almost no health. Our armor is still holding, and that is the last enemy ship available at this point. The rest are all respawning, and we now have access 
to the enemy home base. Right, there's one fresh enemy ship that's just jumped in. Actually, no, two. Okay, we're going to finish this one. Oh, he's got me. Looks like he has the radial missiles installed. I think I managed to get the point defense up just in time. And he's gone, and I'm jumping out. Still firing on the way out, however, because that guy is about to die. And he's done. And there is the enemy base. Enemy ship just jumped in up ahead there. And he starts jumping out. I'm not entirely sure what he thinks he's going to be doing as I'm uh, unloading my missiles and platonic charges on these turret generators, but he's actually just jumped out of his base while it's under attack. <laughs> Maybe he thought, oh, I don't know, the gateway station is falling. I need to go and defend it so they can't jump into our base. Well, we're already in your base. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit late. You're kind of shutting the barn door after the horse has already bolted. This guy, however, um, can do a lot of damage at short range. You can see he's already managed to strip all of the armor from my port side. So I'm turning the ship around and present an undamaged armor facing towards him. And, of course, I'm still piling the damage onto him because I'm shooting him in the same flank. One of the optional upgrades that you can get for the Colossus replaces the speed duration engine boost with the gyro boost, which allows you to get the ship turned around a lot quicker. And that obviously is going to be much more helpful when you've had the armor blown away on one side of the ship. Like I said, none of these particular upgrades are any better or worse than the ones that they replace. They just change the way things work. And of course, I also have a support ship with me, so my armor has been repaired and my health has been replenished, and the enemy team, well, they really just weren't working together the way our team was. It was like a whole bunch of one-on-one -on -one fights for them, as we're just taking enemy ships down, one after the other. Fresh enemy just walked in over on the other side. We need to take these turret generators down, and we're nearly there. We've almost taken the base down. Get the missiles away. One down. How close is he? Uh, I'm not sure he's actually inside my effective range. Doesn't matter. Too little, too late. Game over. We have won. That was a fairly one-sided game. <laughs> I've had games of fractured space that can last up to 40 minutes. That's the fastest victory I have ever been part of. Uh, so it wasn't a bad game to come back to after not having played Fractured Space for a few months. I'm actually surprised that I like Fractured Space as much as I do, because as a rule I don't really like this kind of lane control game like League of Legends or Heroes of the Storm. In fact, they recently did a promotion in Heroes of the Storm where you could unlock a skin in Overwatch for the D.Va character, and I really liked the look of that skin and I thought, what the hell, I'll have a go with Heroes of the Storm. Installed it, I think I played about two games and I thought, nope, <laughs> sorry, no, I don't want the skin that badly, and uninstalled. And yet, here I am, playing and enjoying Fractured Space, when I couldn't stomach League of Legends or Heroes of the Storm for longer than two hours at a time. And I think the reason for that is because Edge Case Games have very cleverly made a game like League of Legends that doesn't feel like League of Legends. The gameplay mechanics are very, very similar, but the perspective is different, and the presentation and setting is very, very different. I was always a sucker for the massive space battles between the battle stars and the base stars in Battlestar Galactica, and that's pretty much exactly what you get here. And it's enough to make me forget that I don't enjoy playing this kind of game. <laughs> so well done, Edge Case Games. Those sneaky buggers have managed to trick me into liking their game. <laughs> that's, that's basically what they've done. But they've done a very, very good job of it. So that was the USR Colossus Heavy Area Denial Ship in Fractured Space from Edge Case Games. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.